Welcome to my kitchen kingdom, where this old man cooks. Welcome to my kitchen kingdom, where this old man throws down the chow down. Today, we're gonna do some lasagna. So let's get started. I have here some onion, garlic, mushroom, and about a pound of ground turkey. This is a half a pound of ground turkey sausage and a half a pound of just plain ground turkey. Just get a chop on our garlic. And we have a pan here that's already been coated with a little extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna take about half of this onion Give it a medium chop. Put this in there. And then we're gonna do the onion, I mean the mushroom, and put it on the stove and bring it to a saute. And after that, I'll show you what I got on the stove top as far as the sauce is concerned. Because I've had that pot simmering with a little bit of Italian season blend, some basil, and a couple of uh, cloves of garlic loving in that pot for a little over an hour all right this has been sauteing for a little bit i'd say about maybe six seven minutes our vegetables here so i'm going to go ahead and add our meat as you see over there i've got the tomato sauce that had been loving with a little bit of Italian seasoning and some garlic. Didn't add any salt and pepper because there was salt in the tomato. It was just a standard, standard pasta sauce kind of thing. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna hit this with, we have our Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, little salt, pepper, and Old Bay. And I mean a little bit of salt. Less than a half a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon, I should say, I'm sorry. So we're gonna not get this too happy in the pot because this is gonna go and marry those flavors while it's in the, the oven. So we're just gonna bring this up to the meat gets brown and then we're gonna put that sauce in there and then we're gonna build that lasagna. All right, so this is pretty brown right now. I'm gonna reduce the heat. Oop, made a mess. Give this a little and we're gonna add the tomato sauce here give it a little stir get that love in there good and we're just gonna add it here here we're gonna do the ricotta mixture while the uh, meat is on the stove getting happy we're just gonna do oh I don't want that shell in there. Go ahead and whisk these up real quick. And 
That's two eggs. I'm going to add about half of this 32 ounce original ricotta cheese. Some use the part skim. And we're just going to gently get that folded in, adding more ricotta if we need it. Also to this, we're going to add some parsley flakes and some granulated garlic. And that's it. Okay, we're about to build the lasagna. I reserved some of this sauce to start with the pan. This is a sprayed pan already. So you want to just go ahead and layer the bottom of it. just gives it a foundation and I use these no-bake lasagna noodles these will expand out to the corner so you don't have to really worry too much about that or if you have your lasagna noodles that you made you can align it how you want so we have our ricotta mixture now some people get into these arguments about your layers. I do noodle, ricotta, meat, and cheese. That's just how I do it. It's all gonna come out in the end. I'm gonna spread this around just a little bit. more as you need it. I'm going to add some of this meat sauce. that around a bit. And then you complete the layer with some mozzarella. This is part skim. And then you start all over again with the next layer. And once that's done, I'll be back. Okay, we have the lasagna built. With the last layer, you just put your noodles on top with a little bit of sauce and the rest of the mozzarella. We're gonna cover this and we're gonna bake it about 40 to 45 minutes total. But after the first 30 minutes, I'm gonna uncover it so that the cheese can get kind of brown and bubbly. So we're going to pop this in the oven and we'll see you in about 40 minutes. Okay, what we're going to do is some garlic bread or a variation of. I'm going to call these garlic bites because I've got this little, little loaf. We're going to just cut it like, yeah, so, so say, so say. So say what? Cut it just so. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. 
and that's why it came out so say cut it just so what we just have here is some melted butter just gonna get them buttered up We have some minced garlic. Depends on how garlicky you want these. You can add or subtract. And some Miss Dash. This is the table formula. We're just going to sprinkle that on there. I'm going to go toast these babies up. And we're going to serve them with the lasagna. So you'll see how that turns out. Okay, now we're going to plate up the lasagna. This is rested for a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, now. We're going to put our little garlic bites. We have a little side salad. I'm just going to drizzle, drizzle this off. I've got some avocado oil here. A little more than a drizzle, but I'll toss it up. And some balsamic vinegar. And remember, with wine, it's always fine. Mm -hmm.